Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like makeup, fragrance, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So I'm finally doing my Sephora haul. I have all my packages here. I have about 50 products. Mm, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, but I did not shop the sale in the fall, so I kind of made up for it this time, you know what I'm saying? Also, I was really like, ah, I really don't want to shop. I really don't want to shop. And then I started watching recommendation videos, haul videos, and that's where I messed up at. I have something in every category that I love. I have fragrance, skincare, makeup, body care. I've got everything. So let's dive right in because it's going to be a long video. Get you something to drink. Get comfortable because we're about to get into it. First, we're going to start with fragrance because I know that is why a lot of you are here. So we are starting with the fragrances. I only got two fragrances this time because I have a lot of fragrances from Sephora that I already want. I have them already. So let's get into the ones that I wanted to try. First fragrance I got is Hibiscus Palm by Erin. So I did not open anything because I wanted to wait for y'all so I can open everything and smell everything for the first time. So let me take this out the box. So this is what the box and the packaging looks like. And I just got a 1.7 because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. I heard Jack's Beautiful You talk about this super highly like girl this is the summertime vibe that you want if you like tropical and all of that and then I heard Lulu's World say this is for the rich bitch for the summer <laughs> I ain't no rich bitch but I want to smell like one okay so I heard this is close to Sunkiss Hibiscus which y'all know I love and I have so if they're too close this will be going back but let's see this definitely smells super close to Sunkiss Hibiscus for sure. Let me spray it on my skin. I feel like just smelling it off the card, if you have one, you don't need both. But this definitely smells so good, so tropical. You can smell the frangipani, ylang, ylang, ylang. I don't really smell the hibiscus or anything like that in here. You get the sweetness from, it's got to be some vanilla in here for sure. Some coconut. It smells really, really good, actually. Um, it's definitely like a more refined version of Beach Walk. More like, you know, more upscale version of Beach Walk, I think. I'm going to test it out to see about the longevity and, you know, projection of this. Because the Sunken Side Biscuits, girl, that longevity on that is banging. Like, that be on me all day. And you can smell it. And I love that one. So, I'm going to see how this compares. And I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video if it stays or if it goes back. Next fragrance I purchased because of Ev from the Ev Effect. She was like, girl, the tangerine is tangerining and you need it for the summer. I was like, okay, girl. And that is Tangerine Boy by Fleur. So I definitely wanted that tangerine vibe for the summer. I wanted something nice and juicy and just giving me all the citrusy vibes. So let's check. Oh, girl, I know you fucking lying. I don't know what happened here, but I'm not happy about that. This might be going back just to get a new bottle because, girl, let's see how it smelled though. Can't even. Okay, it looks like the itemizer popped back in. Mmm, now that is nice and juicy. Okay. Let me spray it on this arm. It's definitely giving juicy tangerine. This says it has lemon and ginger, black pepper. I don't really get a lot of the black pepper. So if you're scared of black pepper, don't be scared of this. Definitely juicy lemon tangerine. It has green apple in it. You kind of get that a little bit too. Okay, this is like a nice everyday throw on when it's really, really hot. You're going to run some errands, something like that. Not anything too fancy or anything, but it's refreshing. It's really refreshing that's cute i gotta leave it on my arm for a minute to make sure it doesn't give cleaning product you know what i'm saying because it can switch but it's smelling nice refreshing juicy and something you would want to wear when it's real hot so i'll get back to y'all in a future video on that but girl that itemizer was ghetto okay next is body care i only bought a few body care items i re-upped on my necessary deodorant gel love this wear this at night because it does have the axis in it it keeps me nice and fresh and i like it i got it in eucalyptus i was looking for the um for the fragrance free one because i never tried that i always just had the eucalyptus one and i'm almost done with that so i had to definitely get another one of these if you have not tried this and you have like dark underarms definitely give this a try because it has those acids in it if y'all want me to do like a whole underarm routine let me know but yeah i definitely have like a routine to make sure my underarms stay nice and lightened next product i got was this josie memoran whipped argan oil body butter and i got mine in sweet citrus i hear a lot of people talk about this but the one who sold me on it was my girl sheree del sol she tried it and she said she absolutely loved like the texture and the moisture in it so she recommended this yeah you can still tell that it's nice and moisturizing it's lightweight but still like yeah nice and moisturizing okay okay girls next body care product i got was this one by joe malone this is the body cream and this goes with the nectarine and honey blossom um fragrance that i have so yeah i wanted this 
Jo Malone always does their packaging so cute and sh just elegant and chic. Yeah. Nice, heavy weighted. It feels like what it costs, okay? It definitely smells like the fragrance. This one doesn't seem to be as potent as the jo Josie Moran. This one does have like a thicker texture. It feels nice and smooth. Soaks right into the skin. And you can see that's nice and moisturizing too. Last for body care, and this also kind of leads into skincare, is the Ordinary Toner. I've been using this for years and years and years on my body, like underneath my arms, my bikini area, all of that, and definitely my face. My face loves glycolic acid, and this toner is what introduced me to glycolic acid and let me know that my skin loves it. I know most people got hip to it because a lot of people have been using it on their body. I wish I would have said something about this on TikTok like two, three years ago when I was talking about it. But yeah, this is definitely bomb for keeping your skin like light and hyperpigmentation, dark areas, all of that and exfoliating. So love this. It's super affordable, maybe like $13. It used to be cheaper than that when I was buying. It was like less than $10, I think. But yeah, this is girl bomb. So good. Be careful with it on your face. It might be too strong for some people on your face but on your body use it consistently and it should work for you like you can use this every day up under your arms and your bikini area at night like for real this is the truth so my girl Keiko Beauty is definitely responsible for quite a few of these skincare items okay she actually has oily skin and I have dry skin but I like to watch her videos about what she likes and what she doesn't like because sometimes something that works for her or doesn't work for her may work for me or may not work for me so she talked about the magic night cream from Charlotte Tilbury she said it just was not for her it was too thick and balmy and it just wasn't for her and i was like yes that that's because that's for me girl it's thick and balmy give it to me i had to just get a little 15 ml because all of them were sold out and in here it really does look super balmy look how that looks just oh i was like oh when i saw the texture of it i was like yes i had to get this i was mad i had to get this small one she said it was like rubbing vaseline on your face and she wasn't lying <laughs> It's definitely smoother than Vaseline, but it does have that balmy feeling like Vaseline. So this is definitely something you put on at the end after you put on all your serums and everything. Oh yes, my skin is going to love, my skin loves thick products like this. So yes, 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 this is going to lock in all my moisture. Oh, I can't wait to see how I like this. Then I heard her talking about the good old magic cream that everybody raves about. Everybody says this is absolutely worth the coin. Um, I got the 30 ml and I also got a mini of the glow toner. I didn't know the glow toner was going to be this damn mini. Okay. But hopefully y'all like it and can upgrade to the larger one. Okay. It feels nice on the skin. Glides on real good. It feels like it's nice and moisturizing. But everybody that uses this says it is everything it says it's supposed to be. It is truly a magic cream so y'all know i'm gonna tell y'all if it is or if it ain't and then the glow toner is super cute and little but it's like a nice milky looking consistency yeah it's like a nice thick oh yeah it feels kind of like a, a toner serum type of thing essence vibe so i'm liking that we'll see how that works I had to re-up on my acid potion by moon juice y'all this is one of my favorite hands down exfoliating toners um this is not for everybody honey this is strong okay like 25 percent of acids and i'm all here for it okay y'all know i like my skincare products to give me a whole new face okay skin me like a snake and give me new skin yes 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 like i thought about even starting to use this on my body parts versus the one from the ordinary but that one is just so much more affordable so it just makes more sense to continue to use that just for that and just use this for my face but i absolutely love this toner so for the nights that I have been wearing makeup and I want to just kind of really deep, deep cleanse my skin or just I feel like my skin was just super congested that day. I like to go in with a mask, a clay mask that night. So I picked up this one by Glow Recipe thanks to my girl Trust of Alexis. She said she likes this when you put it on you kind of feel that tingling feeling like you feel like your pores are tightening up. It is called the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Type Facial Mask. So I wanted to try it to see what it gives because I love me a good clay mask i want it to feel deep cleansed i want it to feel stripped you know i want the clay to get all the impurities and dirt and detox my skin like i want that so i'm hoping this will pull all of that stuff out and really give me some nice refreshed skin the fenty skin moisturizer sunscreen this is one of my favorite fenty skin products i like it because it's just easy it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen and one for those days when you just don't feel like doing the most okay you just want to get up and just 
you know go so i do like this for that i think this is for good for all skin types if you have oily skin like i feel like it's good for you because you just don't have to put on a moisturizer and a sunscreen you can just put this on and i feel like it's moisturizing enough for dry skin so i really like this so i had to get another one my man took over my first container or whatever so i just been buying him refills but i needed a whole nother one of these so yeah so this i love if you've never tried it and you're looking for a sunscreen that's going to give you a nice glow no white cast i think you should definitely try the Fenty one. This is a cleanser by Josie Moran. Keiko made me buy this too. Okay, this is the Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. It just looks so fun. It looks like something I want to reach for. And <laughs> you know, it just looks good. And she said it smells good. So, oh, it does. Mmm, it does smell like pineapples. Ooh, I like it. If you don't like fragrance, don't go for this because it definitely smells like pineapples. But I can't wait to use this. Next is the Clarence Double Serum. I have been hearing so many good things about this. And Keiko was the one that sold me on this too. <laughs> This gets a lot of hype, just like the Estee Lauder serum. So I wanted to give this a try and see how good it is. They said it's nice and moisturizing. Just makes your skin feel so good, hydrated, healthy, plump, and all of the things. And it's for anti-aging. Your girl is definitely middle-aged. So I always have to have anti-aging treatments and serums and products in my routine somewhere, somehow. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. I have been eyeing this Hydro Mask Exfoliant from Dermalogica for a long time, but I never really pulled the trigger on it so it just kept staying in my cart and I just would never buy it. it was just staying in my loves or whatever but I recently did a um, sponsored video for Dermalogica for their um, new retinol and their sunscreen and fell in love with those two products so I was like okay I'm not skipping Dermalogica this time so I went ahead and got this mask it's supposed to bubble and fizz up on your face I do feel like the amount of product you get is mm, iffy as far as the price goes because this is not cheap but it is an exfoliating mask it's not something that you do every day so we'll see how it works and how long it lasts I like the packaging though it has like the opening down here at the bottom and this like pump here is giving Fenty stole my design because this has been out for a long time and Fenty know that melt off is kind of just like this but it's cute <laughs> so I almost went full size on these products because I have just been interested in them for a while and i've been hearing more and more about it and this is by shiny darden i almost bought the full size but i'm like no just try the little kit and see how you like it so so it has the cleansing serum i've been wanting to try the retinol and the lactic acid and i heard she has like a peptide serum or a peptide cream or something out that is getting a lot of traction too so i heard her products are really good she's, she's a black dermatologist so yeah i want to see how her products work last for skincare is this by the ordinary this is their multi-peptide lash and brow serum i have been hearing good things about this um the one that i currently use and have well i've just went back to using it was the dermal dermalect um lash serum and i do like that one this one is a lot more affordable and a lot of people have been saying that they feel like their lashes are a lot longer with using it so it has like a little wand like little brush that you brush on instead of like the mascara one so we'll see how this goes um i want to put this on my skincare tray and get to using it consistently so i can let y'all know if it's working or doing anything because if it is and it's affordable it will be a yes but we have to see y'all it's so funny how marketing be marketing okay because they are telling us all that we need all these lip oils and all of this and when they uh, most of them is just lip gloss okay um yeah so I don't know I have a lot of lip glosses but the whole lip oil craze kind of took me over and I dove right in and bought some lip oils so I bought six lip oils lip glosses so let's talk about them so of course I got the super hyped up balm which is by summer Fridays and this is the lip butter balm um my girl Sheree Del So is the one that put this on my radar and then everybody named mama was talking about it so I was like let me just go ahead and try it I really don't smell anything but I got so much stuff on but yeah the balm feels okay but I'll let y'all know how it feels actually on the lips and all of that but everybody's hyping it I'm pretty sure it's just a nice balm we'll see y'all know how a lot of brands are saying they have lip oils but it's actually like a lip gloss or a lip balm or something like that but I'm really looking for lip oils like so if you do know some brands that have actual lip oils and they are good and they feel good let me know if I didn't purchase it already the next one I heard a lot about was this honey infused lip oil by Gisu. First of all, I like the packaging. Love the design of it, the shape of it. It's just super cute. I like that it's honey infused. I like honey. And I'm hoping that this one is more like a lip oil. It definitely feels like balmy 
with a little more oil in it compared to the summer friday so we'll see how i like that one this one by ula henriksen this was staying sold out i've heard so many good things about this one this is the pop preserve peptide lip treatment so i heard this feels really good on the lips it stays on for a nice amount of time like and it just really makes the lips feel soft and hydrated so i wanted to give this one a try next one is this one by lys this is the speak love glossy lip treatment oil the packaging is cute looks kind of just like their primer let's see this applicator is definitely very different this one does feel more like the gloss with the oil mixture so i'm liking that next were the two most popular ones that have to go head to head in a battle to see like who is worth the coin and that is the Clarence Lip Comfort Oil. Keiko said, get this and don't buy Dior. But my girl, Tresses of Alexa said, buy Dior. So I had to try both of them and see. So let's start with Dior because it's super popular. So I got mine in the shade Raspberry because I feel like this is a color that I could throw on all the time to just give me a nice little tint to my lips. And you know, so let's see how the texture feels. So the Dior Lip Oil feels okay. It doesn't feel like way better and more oil-like than any of the other ones. It feels okay, but I definitely have to wear it and feel it on the lips to really say if I am in love with it. But it feels good. It feels like a nice um, kind of smooth, balmy feeling, but still kind of lip glossy too at the same time. So we'll see. And then the Clarence Oil. Let's see how this one feels. So I got mine in the shade Honey and I wanted something that I could wear every day, day to day, just to give me a nice tint to the lips and Honey definitely is a vibe. And that's what that one looks like. Nice shine. Kind of feels like the Dior one, but I will compare them for sure. Last but not least is makeup. Oh, I guess eight times out of 10. If you are a Sephora lover, you love makeup too. So let's get into what I got in the makeup category. First, I got this brush by Patrick Ta. This one is the new nose contour brush. So I wanted to try this because it just looked like it would just really help you with contouring your nose. So this is what the brush looks like. It has the tip to help you contour your nose and then the bottom one down here will help you blend it out so i thought this was super cute the brush that i have that i use to contour my nose i really don't like it so i think this one will be much better and give you like more precise contour so i'm glad i got this got a couple brow products got my huda pencil and i love this pencil this is my favorite one and i love it so much i got it in the color black I just love this so much because the tip on it is so small and it helps you get some of the best like brow hair strokes and you do have to have a light hand with this you have to just know the right amount of pressure because otherwise it'll keep breaking on you but if you know how to work it it's great so i heard this is for people who kind of already have brows you don't really have sparse brows this is for something like that i will use every day when i'm not actually doing a brow routine i can just throw this tint right in my eyebrows and i heard this makes them kind of crunchy so once your brows are set like they're not moving they're not going anywhere and i was like okay i like that um so yeah i wanted to try this for just kind of an everyday type of or no makeup makeup type of day something like that yeah i only got one primer and that's this one by freck this is the rich bitch protect and prime serum i've been hearing good things about this well actually mixed reviews about this some people really like it they love the texture of it the like they like the way it lays their makeup and some people say they really don't see a difference with it so it seems like it's nice and moisturizing it kind of has like that snail like type of texture to it feels moisturizing at, you know for a primer but we definitely have to see how it lays with the makeup i haven't used any makeup from freck just the cactus water toner which i love and they have a cactus water moisturizer which i have and it's okay it's not my favorite but it's okay but yeah i want to try this primer because it just looked really moisturizing and something that i would like so i bought three foundations that i've really been wanting to try so i got the say super glowy skin foundation since it says super glowy skin i was like yes give me that the reviews have been good for people especially for people who have dry skin or they like a glowy look so i wanted to try this this is this one is in the shade 18 but of course i need to test it out to see if it's actually going to look good on my skin the next one is the super hyped up house labs foundation this is in shade 310 medium warm and hopefully this is my color if not i will be going back to get it at least get the right color because everybody that uses this especially if you have dry skin and you like to look glowy everybody loves this uh, and a lot of people that even have oily skin they like it too um they like the way it looks and lays on their skin so i definitely have been waiting to try this and lastly is this one by makeup by mario i'm gonna swatch all three on my hand to see how they look but this one is also um getting really good reviews people like it it looks nice and not dewy glowy but like you know a little radiant on the skin so i think i'm 
really gonna like that and everybody likes the way it lays on the skin and they haven't had a, i haven't really heard any bad reviews about this one so i've been wanting to try this one so this is what the foundations are looking like this one is makeup by mario in the shade 140 this is hoss labs in 310 medium warm and this one is say in the shade 18 so i can definitely see that that one needs to go back to get a lighter color this one looks good and this one by makeup by mario might be okay too so i'll test these two out before i take them back but um the one by say definitely needs to go back that's looking real deep for me girl that shade match thing on sephora be lying just like them lights do in sephora so i purchased three concealers because i have been getting rid of old concealers and these are the three i got the i got the sephora best skin ever the prism libre by givenchy and the huda beauty concealer I've heard so many good things about the Best Skin Ever Concealer. They said it's so good. My girl Sheree Del Sol, she tried it. She was like, girl, get it. It's so good. I already like the Best Skin Ever Foundation, so why not try the concealer? So this Huda Beauty Concealer is in the shade Marmalade. Now, I ordered this before I went in store and bought some things. So this one is a little more like my skin tone, but I wanted something lighter. So this one is Marmalade. I need to go back and get Coconut Flakes. So I'm not going to open this because I want the lighter color. So these two swatches are Sephora and Givenchy and I wanted to see how light they were because I have a lot of concealers that are my color, um, the color of my skin tone like this and I've been looking for brighter ones because I have a lot like this already. So, so this one is Givenchy and this one is Sephora. So this one is super bright. This is in 14P and I'm going to keep that because I always need a nice super bright concealer. Now this one, the Givenchy is definitely more my skin tone but I have so many like that. So I want to take this one back and get a lighter color i did buy a few loose powders because i got rid of a few loose powders and a lot of the loose powders that i have i feel are all the same color so i needed some that were different colors to help brighten up under my eyes and stuff like that so i bought the small mini huda beauty i love this setting powder i have not tried this one in pound cake but this is the uh, formula this formula i do like so the one i have is blondie and i feel like it's a little too deep and yellow for underneath the eyes I'm, i can actually probably set my whole face with that if i was a loose powder face setting type of person but this pound cake one is lighter and it should be better for me then i got this one by house labs this is their setting powder i haven't heard anything bad about this setting powder but nobody really it's not super hyped like the foundation either i like the house labs packaging and i feel like this color color will be better for under my eyes it looks like brighter than it really is because of the lights but this is really a nice color for me and this is in the shade neutral peach last powder i got was the super hyped huda beauty cherry blossom powder this was staying sold out out of stock couldn't get my hands on it and when i placed like my last order it was back in stock using a pink powder under the eyes has been all the craze lately so i want to see how it works what is it giving is it giving what it's supposed to give it's definitely a nice pink powder it looks lighter in the camera but it's definitely like a pink like bubblegum pink color so i'm interested to see how this works i only got two all over face powders this one by nars is a new one that i've been hearing a lot about this is the soft matte advanced setting powder so i got mine in the shade sunshore so this will be a nice all over face powder for me it looks a little lighter in the camera than it actually is but yeah this is going to be nice i'm sure because nars is known for having really good powder so we'll see this one is the luminous silk powder by Givenchy and I love the luminous silk foundation so I definitely wanted to try the powder I wanted to give me that nice luminous type of look so hopefully this gives what it says it's supposed to give because I don't know I heard this was reformulated people still like it but I heard the other reversion was like super super good so I don't know we'll see how this works two mascaras the Fenty one hella thick everybody's been raving about it I've been actually hearing a mixed reviews when I ordered it everybody was raving about it saying oh my goodness it just makes your lashes so thick and so pretty the shade is because i'm black and the packaging is really cute but after i ordered it people were saying that it was smudging and flaking and all of that so i don't know it's definitely still getting mixed reviews so we'll see now this mascara is a repurchase i don't know why this mascara is not hyped but this mascara is so good if you are a girl with runny eyes and mascara always smudges and it just you know you're looking for a mascara that's going to stay in place this one by blink is so good now the one i got is the ultra volume tubing mascara they also have a like ultra length tubing mascara but i got the ultra volume 
I got mine in the shade black. This is for the girls that like their formula a little drier and not like super duper wet. Like every time I wear this, my lashes are not moving. They are not budging. Like you have to use a cleansing oil or cleansing butter to get this off. Like, but the lashes are staying put. They are like, they feel a little hard a little bit, but like, girl, my mother-in-law has runny eyes and I told her to get this and she was like, girl, that mascara did not go nowhere. And I loved it. My eyes was watering it and you know, this just did not budge smudge run nothing i don't know why this is not hyped up but girl get into it now it's time for like our favorite part lately has been blushes everybody has been loving and hyping up blushes and i got rid of some blushes so it was time to bring in some new ones so i got some from danissa myrix i got golden hour dancing queen bellini and prima donna everybody was hyping up bellini so i had to get this i ordered this online and it is a really pretty orangey type of color and i think that'll really look nice on the cheeks for sure but when i went in store to do a little shopping and i saw golden hour i was like oh yeah see that one right there that's the one i want so this is what golden hour looks like and it's a really pretty like orange orange color so this is what they look like compared next to each other see how this one bellini is a lot lighter and this one is a lot more deeper but they both give a really pretty like orangey color so this is what they look like on the skin this one is a golden hour that nice deep orange and then this one is bellini that's like more of a orangey peachy color so these are going to be so pretty for the summertime so the last two that got a lot of hype were prima donna this one is a nice pretty pink color and also dancing queen look how nice and deep and rich that is like this one this one is so pretty so this is what they look like on the skin this one is dancing queen and this one is prima donna look how pretty those are oh my gosh they're super super pigmented super creamy and balmy oh my gosh i can't wait to use these so i could not get blushes and not get the house labs blushes like these were so so hyped up so i had to see what the tea was the three shades that i purchased were watermelon bliss acai sky and dragon fruit days I'm gonna hold them back here so you can get more of the true color but this one is watermelon bliss look how pretty that is this one is dragon fruit days which is super popular super hyped up right now everybody's into the really pink bubble gummy blushes so that's pretty and this one was the one that i was super interested in which is acai sky that is so pretty it's just so nice and deep i've been looking for blushes that come close to my becca dahlia blush because this one of course is discontinued but look how deep and rich that is like oh that's just so gorgeous so i've been trying to find something that is kind of sort of like that that one is pretty close and so is dancing queen by um danessa myricks this one is a little more like purplier but it still gives me that deep rich vibe that i was going for or looking for so here's what the three blushes look like this one is watermelon bliss this one is dragon fruit days and this is acai sky so of course we have to see what they look like when you actually wear them on the skin but the colors are nice and pretty and the formulation feels nice and buttery and soft okay for highlighters i was only working with two highlighters even though i have some other ones it was just two that i was reaching for so i wanted to get a couple more highlighters that weren't like the ones i already had so i got these ones by house labs i heard good things about them i really wanted the rare beauty ones but those were sold out and it's some other ones that i do want to try but these ones were available so i just grabbed these to try so i do like the iridescent packaging for the highlighters the packaging for the blushes are cute i like this nice silver kind of look too um, but these are the ones that i purchased now this one is rose quartz so that's the one that i wanted to try because i don't really have any pinky type of highlighters so i want to see how this one looks and then the other one that i got is a peach quartz so when we get in those like nice peachy and orangey blushes i think this nice peach one would look really pretty because i have like a rose gold one but i wanted more to have more of a peach vibe so this one definitely does so this is what they look like on me this one is peach quartz and this one is rose quartz so that's what they look like on my skin 
last product y'all we made it to the end if you are here still you are the real mvp honey because this was a long video last product i got was this by milk makeup this is their new matte uh setting spray it kept selling out everybody's been talking about how great it is and comparing it to the one size setting spray so i definitely want to try it because i do like that one if you want to look matte because girl that's like spraying powder on your face like your face is matte matte using that um but they also like this one so i wanted to try it kept selling out and then it came up in a mini i was like that's perfect because the one size one that i have is in a mini too because i don't use matte as much as i use dewy um definitely like the sleek packaging and i can't wait to use this and let y'all know how i like it so if you are still here thank you because i know this was a long video i got a lot of stuff i cannot wait to try it's going to be a lot of testing new makeup videos a lot of skincare videos and we are definitely going to be getting into it i'll keep y'all updated on the fragrances that i purchased let y'all know how i like them if they stayed or if they what uh, went back and everything that i'm going to be testing out if it went back i'm going to tell you guys for sure and what i'm keeping you'll see in future videos so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.